Hey guys, Fernando Tatis Jr. is part shortstop, part astronaut. His moonshot today landed well over the Summit Club in center field at Parkview Field, and the 18-year-old called it one of his longest home runs of his young career. It certainly was. In downtown Fort Wayne in Houston, we are clear for takeoff. In the bottom of the first, Tatis launches this one into orbit. It's a two-run home run, the first of the year and the first of many, many more to come for Tatis. That's Major League Pop. This is Minor League Fundamentals. A simple pop-up isn't so simple. The Hot Rods era allows the runner to reach base for the tin caps. He wouldn't come around, though. And speaking of, Jerry Keel made Bowling Green look even more more foolish. He struck out not one, not two, not three, but eight over six in a third innings of work for him. And it's still 2 nothing in favor of Fort Wayne into the seventh inning until this. Garrett Whitley with the single and just like that, the Hot Rods, they tie the game up at two runs apiece. In the next half inning, though, it's redemption time for the 10 caps. Ronaldo Ilaraza with a game winning RBI. Rod Boykin scores from third, and the 10 caps, they win this one. 3 to 2 is your final. First two games, they were tough. You know, I was trying to do my best and didn't have the result I wanted. But now, last two games, I've been pretty good and I'm coming back. I like it. I like it pretty much. Feel is great. The fans are great, too. And yeah, I love it over here. It's an energetic group. Anything. That happens like that, especially with those younger players. Uh, they feed off it. Um, everybody knows Tatis' power and his potential, and I think they're just waiting to see it. This group is very talented, and they're going to be in a lot of games like that because of uh, their resiliency and just the way they go about their business. Um, they do a great job kind of staying within themselves, and for Ilarasa to come with a big hit like that, that's huge for him. Um, he's kind of one of the younger guys on the team, and um, it's nice to see him contribute on that side. The Tin Caps host South Bend at Parkview Field. Tomorrow, first pitch is set for 7 p.m.